you're in Atlanta and you're a party girl or you like to club or you like to hookah, listen to this story because this could change your life. So a couple of weeks ago, a few of my friends hit me up and wanted to go club hopping, but unfortunately I couldn't go because I had just started a new job. They went without me, they had a great time, they partied, ate, drank, hookah, yada yada yada, you know the the drill. By the way, if you're wondering why my face looks white, it's sunscreen. Anyways, um, a few days ago my friend Ava gets an outbreak on her mouth. Oh, and she shit. didn't really see it as a big deal. She didn't know what it was until the next day she sends me a picture of how worse it got and I told her that it looked like herpes. Even I was second guessing myself as to whether it would be herpes because we don't sleep around. We're all single. We're all celibate waiting for the right person to come around focused on school. Just, you know, I will say this now, maybe you're, you're single you're not sleeping around. You're waiting for the right person. Because sometimes your friends be lying. Okay? So don't don't put that on everybody. Um, minding our business. So me and a couple of the other girls tell her to go get checked out. Before her appointment to get checked out, another one of my friends that was with Ava that night, let's just call her Ava, has the same outbreak on her mouth area. She took a picture, posted it in the group chat, and another one of the girls that was there that night had like a large bump beside her lip, but it didn't grow out to be an outbreak yet. Like, I know what herpes looks like. So when I saw it, I like almost knew for a fact it was herpes, mm. but it was the fact that none of them had ever talked about kissing anyone new, um, none of us smoke, um, you know what I mean? It was just really random for it to be herpes, especially for all of them. So the second girl who got the outbreak, let's just call her Melissa, her appointment comes before Ava's. And um, the doctor is mentioning a bunch of ways where she could have got it, kissing, blah, blah, blah. Push comes to shove, they end up figuring out that she could have possibly gotten this herpes on her lip from the hookah. So when she tells us that that's what the doctor said, were like, um, what the fuck? Like, that's crazy. End up telling me that they only did hookah at one club that they went to. I don't want to say the name because I don't want to get sued for defamation or anything like that. But I believe they were at a bar or a section in the club and they were making friends with this girl who was there with her friend and she ended up leaving um, and gave my friends her hookah so they didn't have to buy one. And even though they all had new and different hookah tips, they weren't sharing their hookah tips. It is very possible that they could have gotten herpes from sharing that hookah. And it makes sense when you think about it because a lot of saliva goes through the hookah pipe. Um, some people have braces, some people have cuts in their gums, so mm. the blood mixes with the saliva and mm. the rest is history. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a scientist, I'm not any of that. But so far, that is the only conclusion that we have as to how all four of them got herpes. Thankfully, I had to work that day, so I'm not a victim of this, <laughs> but this has definitely changed. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. She said, thankfully. Get a hookah again, even if it's just my own. Did she say she'll never get a hookah again? I could have sworn that's what I heard her say. Bro, I've been partying in Atlanta for a long time. And one thing I can tell you, one, I don't smoke hookah, but... One thing I could tell you is that I'm not randomly just taking hookah from nobody. You feel me? I'm not, I randomly, that's not, that's not something I do, bro. I just don't trust people like that. I just don't trust people like that. So the fact that your homegirls randomly was smoking hookah with a stranger and the stranger left a hookah for them so they don't have to buy one and all that, it is, they did that to themselves. I'm gonna be honest with you. They did that to themselves. I'm not going to call them names. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing off the wall, but they did that to themselves. Uh, hopefully, they learn their lesson. Next time you go to the club, buy your own hookah. Buy your own hookah. I know people always do this. They they want to they wanna bum your section, you know what I'm saying? You got a section, you got whatever you got going on over there. They become friends with you so they can chill in your section with you and hang out with you and smoke your hookah and do all that. Buy your own hookah. Yo, beautiful. You know I gotta record you. You drive five. Your dog looking crazy, man. <laughs> hey, yo, look, G. Look, I ain't gonna cap. That sex was fire, wasn't it? I was beating that joint up, wasn't I? Man, that 
That's crazy. Hey, yo, I got to tell you something, G. Why you sound retarded? Hmm. Yeah. Your boyfriend's my cousin. What? Your boyfriend, Tyrone, Ty Bug, is my cousin. He told me to get in your inbox to see if he was going to go. And you did. And we're in this hotel room right now. Yeah, you know I mean? Please stop. Turn it off. I swear. Yo, look. You think I'm playing? You're not about to do my cousin like that, G. It's over, man. I'm telling him. I'm telling him, G. It's, it's a dub. Nah, I'm through. Setting your girl up with one of your mans to see if she going to cheat. That's, um... That's kind of crazy. If you feel as though she going to do all that, you might as well leave, man. Don't go through all that trouble. And then on top of that, I'm trying to figure out if he a savage for actually going all the way with her. But you know what? If you tell me, hey, bro, go holla at my girl and see if she going to go. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it all the way. The reason I'm going to do it all the way is just in case you have a change of heart. To make sure you don't have a change of heart. To make sure that I, right, you know what, she, she, damn, I want to take her back, but, but she fucked my mans. Is that evil? I don't know. Maybe that's evil. You through. Please, let's just talk about this. Don't we don't well, what do you follow me for? Needle? What do you follow? I'm about to bounce. I'm going to this crib and I'm showing them this video. Dude, no. Yes, I'm showing them this video. With your pretty self. Okay. Well, and that box was good. Okay, let it be good. You want more, right? Nah, I don't want no more. I did my job. I'll man. pay you. You ain't about don't to pay him. me nothing. Please don't tell him. I'll pay you. I swear to God. How much you gonna pay me? 700 I just got paid. And you gonna pay me what? I'm gonna pay you 700 All right. Say that. Get, put your clothes on. We about to go to the 18 right now. Is this real? Oh, that's a dirt bag, G. Is that real? She said, I'll pay you. What the hell? I'm confused. What? Man, he finna take the money and still go tell his cousin. He better take the money and still tell his cousin. Because if he take the money and don't say nothing, he a savage. Yeah, he's a savage. He better take the money and tell his cousin. What the fuck? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the video for today. As you can see, I don't have my hoodies on today because it's laundry day. And I've been procrastinating on doing laundry today. But, um... I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to leave my link for Instagram, so you can definitely follow me on the gram. Send me more videos. Tag me in videos. A few of y'all have been doing a really good job of doing that, so I appreciate that. As always, I love you. Appreciate your support. Squad.